All right, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and we've got the running board finished. It's all ground up and polished, and uh, Joanne's who to do something extra special today, so I thought I'd lay down with the running board and, and show you, like, maybe Vanna White would do. Joan, between Joanne's on the camera, and uh, we're going to get started today. <laughs> Anyways, we got, the, we got the running board welded up. Not sure if I like that entry of the video, but we did it. Um... Got the, the running board welded up. I want to come show you the other running board as we did this one. We got that one all welded up and got it ground off. This is what it looks like with it welded up and not ground off. So you can see what's going on here. Um, you can see what's going on. You got it welded down this side. Got it welded down all the way down the exhaust. Got the little triangle welded up. I put a little extra weld here in the bend there so when it grounds off it's a little bit better. And what I did not do I did not cut the exhaust off to weld that uh, a piece of one eighth, one inch on there, head over there, so I used it. I did not cut it off. And the reason being why I cut it off and try to butt weld that on there when I don't have to, uh, it's an extra piece for, for strength. I'm sure there's lots there, but I did not cut it off. It is what it is. So that's what it looks like welded up. That's for this side. And then we got the one over here that's ground off and on this side. This video here, I'm gonna try to take the braces off the old running boards and apply them to the new running boards. And uh, if we turn around here for a second, I got Jolene running around a little bit, but that's what she does and that's what she's good at. Um, I got the, the braces here on the old running boards. I want to try to get them off and apply them to the new running boards, get the new running boards put on, and then I can make, make this piece in here for the box. Uh, there's a, when the running board comes in, it comes underneath here, then there's an opening here. Well, that piece has to be made uh, before I start bolting the fenders on and all that stuff. Well, it doesn't have to be made, but I want to uh, continue, I want to run it back, uh, finish that part, and then I can bolt the fender on. The running boards are finished, but we need, well, they're not finished. They need the braces underneath, and I want to put them on. I probably do not have to put them on for the reason being is, is that running board there is, I would say, um, if not twice as strong, uh, one and a half times stronger than this. So I've got these braces on here. I want to get them off and I'm going to cut them off just as quick as possible. I got a zip cut there. I'm going to grab some earmuffs. Jolene looks amazing this morning. Jolene got up, got coffee this morning. I got to see her in her underwear. Yee-hoo! Alrighty, get my gloves. Where'd I put my gloves at, sweetheart? There they are, right there. I'm gonna cut these off. A lot of people like to, what can I say? I see a lot of people would try to drill the spot welds off. I generally don't like to do that. And the reason I don't like to do that is because you end up putting a hole in it. And I don't know if I want that hole in the piece that I'm cutting. So generally what I try to do is cut it off cut the metal off or grind the metal off and then try not to do any drilling whatsoever when it comes to taking off stuff like this. I have a little repair I'm going to have to do there, a little repair I'm going to have to do there. You can see where, it's, where it rotted on the end here and it rotted on this end here. I'm hoping where I left the exhaust inside the flat piece that this piece will come to the exhaust and I won't have to worry about the outside. I can just snip that off straight. That's what I was thinking. You know what they say, if you don't think, you sink. All right. happens is I can see a little line you can see the little, the little line see that little line going up there I can see a line on either side where I can cut it off without cutting the brace that's what I'm looking for or that's what I can see so I'm gonna go with it why not I'm 
gonna cut it off. Basically all I did there is it's rotten on that end. Instead of me trying to get that off, why not just cut it off? Basically that's all I'm thinking. Just gonna go to the other side, see if I can see a couple lines there. Can so, you see my mark right there? Just gonna go right through the top. One break. Ah, 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 ah. Wow. We wanna cut that off. Hammer the chisel. Pair of ice grips to hold the chisel. And the hammy. I think that'll work for now. Many with different ways of skinning the cat on this. Yes, there is, but I don't want it. To, I don't want to cut. I don't want. To, I don't want to chisel or drill the spot wells. Is that what I don't want to do? If I can. like that that fell off Ah, I bent the end of my... Ah, it's all right. It's all right. Just straighten that out after, that's all. Come on off. What's that pedal on? What's that, sweetheart? Are you getting smart with the people at home? Jolene said, is that metal on top of metal? And it is. <laughs> it's metal on top of metal. <laughs> Jolene, I love you. She's getting smart with the people at home. She's getting smart. She's always been smart, but where are the channel locks? See the channel locks anywhere, sweetheart? I got them. Got them. Yep, metal on top of metal. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love her, boys. You gotta love her. If not, she'll win. Ouch. Oh, that was real live hurt. That was real live hurting me. Hurt. Aye. All right, there we go. There's what I'm thinking. Stinking. Straighten that back out. Get my body hammer. That hurt my thumb. He's stomping around here just like a herd of cats. Ain't he? What? Damn it. Be resourceful anytime you can. Me running around trying to find something, bang it on. It's got a jack stand right there.
Metal on top of metal, who would have thunk? I'm gonna get a little ball peen hammer. I got a little bit of, it's kind of sucked in there a little bit and I wanna beat it down that way. One of these falls off and I'll probably grab the one that makes it fall off. Alrighty. Now, just wanna pound this down flat, that's all. Don't matter, it's underneath there. Let's grab a grinder. Flatten them spot welds off. Now, if I took in my spot welder, then I would have had a bunch of holes in that. And then I would have had to fill the holes afterwards. If I just grind them off, pull them off, grind them off, then I can make my hole wherever I want to. On top of metal, she said. She picked right up on it, she did. <laughs> I'm kind of anxious to see. This one's the back one. I know where the back would go and I flip this over. I've got two holes. Duh! Holes. Look at that. Get to weld that right on that exhaust pipe. Beautiful. Queen Jolene. She's my queen. Jolene. Jolene's my queen. Now. I'm going to weld that. I might as well weld that right on there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drill holes in it to spot weld it from the top. I don't think it's necessary. I've got a hole right there on the on this side that I can weld it to. I've got a little place that's got a hole in it there. I can put a little weld in that if I want to and repair that. I'm gonna weld it along there, weld it along there, weld it along there. That should be fine. That should be fine. I'm going to go weld that in right now. Uh, the reason being is I don't want to get mixed up. There's one for the one for the back, one for the front. Take this over here. Two pairs of needle nose ply or a pair of vice grips to put that in there. <laughs> that hole there isn't lined up the best, but let's put this one on. Hello, Fina. If you don't know, uh, tick season for dogs and people probably no doubt in my mind so uh, we've noticed Fina got had a few ticks on her four to be exact so if you have a pet and you love them like you should get your tick, tick medication for them fantastic and I don't even have to what I like about it I don't even have to fix the end of that brace that's nice that nice I'm going to this nope can't do it I have to bring it down just a little bit line that hole up a little bit better
job on this. Center. Don't have to weld those two ends, just the center is fine. Or I think it is. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Could flatten that down and weld it all. I'm going to weld this tab down. Alrighty. Just kind of wonder if I should lay that tab down. I have a hole right here. Spot that. I'm going to set it. with this tab sticking up in the air like that I almost like to bang that down and finish welding it right across it just would make a nice it would look make look, make it look nicer if you ever flipped it upside down in the ditch or something like that you look and see the geez them running boards don't look so good or easy just see if I can knock them over a little bit hmm Hit that I do. Just want to hit it with that. Nope. Good channel locks. And bend it down instead of hitting it. That running board's too nice to be hitting it. It's the wrong time. And that helmet is driving me crazy. So, hey. I think it would look much better with that nailed down. I think. Nope, still don't want to hit it. I still don't want to hit it. punch. Shut that off for a second. I'm going a little further than I thought I wanted to, but I just wanted to make it look better, that's all. Punch there. Get my hammer. Got another hammer right there. This is not a body hammer, but it's a hitting hammer. Oh, 
all I want to do is no damage. That's all I want. No damage. So I'm going to weld that up. I'm just going to grab a coat hanger and fill it and weld it, I guess. Nope. Let's get it one more time. If I can't get down a little further. Hey, that's better. Jolene turned the welder on and says, time to weld. Right on. Sounds good to me, baby. Um, hitting that mic, but... Did I have a coat hanger on the other side? Did I see? It's on the back of the welder, maybe? There it should be. All I'm going to do is connect that end down, or connect those ends down, just so it looks a little better, that's all. They were stuck up in the air. I don't want them stuck up in the air, I want them welded down. spitting because it's got that aluminum covering on it. See nice penetration all the way along there where it was butt welded on because it had a gap. It had a gap. This stuff, like underneath there where it would be hard to grind, that stuff, before I did anything to it or painted it or did anything like that, I probably would seam seal that. I would probably seam seal that. I probably would seam put a bit of seam sealer on that. I'd put a seam sealer on that. Um, and you can see also, I would probably seam seal that. For me to, Try, I, can, I can fill it full of weld, but it'd be hard to grind off and it would end up being a sort of a mess. So I just leave that there and then when I come along with the seam sear, I'd fill that full seam sear and just swipe it off and you would never know that was there. And it would do a nicer job than as if I try to fill up with weld and try to grind it. So we'll leave that be for a second. We're going to turn off the weld or go to the other side, get the other brace off. I'll get a sweetheart. Jolene's amazing. And uh, where'd Matt go? Left it on the other side, did I? Right there. All right, we're going to the other side. And we'll get the other brace off. I want to take a look at that for a second. Good. No damage. And also, these, these running boards have got no warpage whatsoever. So I'm happy, happy with that. Come take a look down the... Down the, like you can see, there's no warpage on that. Uh, it's 14 gauge, it's nice and smooth, nice and tight and right. Jolene said to me this morning, what are you scared of, 18 in now, are you? Are you scared of it? Well, I'm not scared of it. Um, we've got one sheet of 18 over there, and I want to give that to Floyd because we said we owe him a sheet. We did not have any 18 except that little tiny piece over there. I'm using what I have. Okay, Jolene?
cutting them apart. You never guess what I'm going to do to the end of that before I put it over there. I'm going to flatten that out so it fits on that inside of that exhaust pipe a little nicer. Get another disc. Testing my strength this morning. Testing me, testing me. Come on, Chetty. Come on, Chetty. Just trying to get a bit done for the time that we have. That's all. Um, to do to do the amount of work that I get done here in an hour um, with everybody watching, you really have to step up the game. And I like it. I like it. I enjoy what this is what I enjoy. I enjoy. I just ruined them running boards 1935 and I ruined them. Ah, what do you think, baby? Huh? Metal on top of metal again, isn't it? Who would ever think to do something like that? If you don't know it, boys, my, my lady's just laugh. She's just a smile. If you think rusty metal is weak, it's not. It's not. Alrighty. Let's get this off. Get a little hole going on there. Do, do, do. This one I'm going to do. I'm going to slice this up this time. I can see the spot welds on. She's my lady. Let's take it over as far as the... No, we're fine right here. I wanted to put it on the stump. Just do my... Beat the end of that thing over again. You know what I'm trying to tell you. Spot well there, see? 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 Ooh, wrong end. Looking hurt myself, I was. Something to pound against. It's nice. They put some Bondo in her. Dun, 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 dun. Keep her going, Chetty. Keep her going, buddy. Going, buddy. stuck on there. Get this piece off. Bum, 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 bum. All right, keep it rocking. Keep 
Ask me this morning. You're scared of that 18 gauge? <laughs> Have you got any, sweetheart? I didn't hit your pretty little feet there, baby. Huh? I didn't mean to. Spot welded on there, is it? Channel locks on the other side. It probably does have a spot weld there somewhere. want to get to that piece there has to be I'm going to point out something No primer, no nothing in between the metal on top of metal. Um, there's nothing there. This is 1935. It's the running board of a, of a car from 1935. Uh, it's got one little spot that has been rotted out where the stuff and dirt got in between it. I'm not planning on driving this um, anytime, anywhere where there's dirt and muck and all that sort of stuff. I'm kind of... repairing uh, this to look after it and anytime anybody's repairing something to look after uh, I dare say that they don't even want it in the rain most times so if you know if you can you can get a bit over can I say over the top on this stuff I think I gotta have primer in between this I gotta have to do do this I gotta put on and put weld through primer I gotta uh, wash it all down with this special stuff before I put any body fill on you really are taking it to another level which to me, only to me, I'm going to give you my belly button, is not needed. It's not, it's not needed to do a good job on something and make something last. Um, you do not need all these products that are out there. Um, let's face it, they done it years ago with, like there's a house down the road, like I said many times, a house down, there, down the road over 100 years old, and that thing is standing and will be standing probably for another 100 years old, 100 years. We do not need all these new things that we have in life to make things last or make things work. We come up with new ideas 
for people to spend money, I guess. I can't, I can't think of anything else. All the old cars and stuff has already been done before. And um, to put more technology into something is probably just because, just so other people can't understand or follow what's, what needs to be done. So basically what I'm trying to say is, I like to simplify things. They put metal over top of metal back then. I put metal over top of metal. I do not need to squirt something in between there. That'll be just fine. It gets a little layer of rust on. It'll be fine. Look after it, undercoat it, put some whatever on it. Um, to overthink things and put mega amounts of money into something because you think it's better, okay, but this will be just fine. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm just basically saying that, you know, you see all these new products. Everybody's talking about epoxy and, and sealers and, and all this sort of stuff. Well, what about what about just good old body fill and primer? <laughs> you know, it worked before. Why, do, why not keep working now? And I can understand there's a use for that stuff sometimes. Yes, I can. I'm going to beat that flat. I want to put it on something beat it flat. I'm going to go in here for a second. I don't know if I made myself clear what I was trying to say, but... You do not need all this stuff to do a good job on a car. You do, you do not need a good all this stuff. You can do it with the basic tools just as well as anything else. Basically what I'm trying to say, metal on top of metal. Yeah, that's good. It's good. Beat that down just a little bit. I should have brought my hammer over with me. Bad on you, Chad. Bad on you. I see, yeah, I see, you know, I'll leave it be. How's that? I'll leave it be. It's gonna bend it back. That's why, I, like, I, I tell people I use, you know, I use spray nine for wax and grease remover, and I use, it's not what I should have done. Bent that in. And I use Windex for pre-wash. To go spend a bunch of money on something that's not necessary, to me, is foolish. I need to beat that in there a little bit. Kind of, what am I, what am I, what's going on here? Why am I up there? get it tight down there so I can, good, I can get that pair of these, pair of these. There we go. Weld that down in there like that. God love her. Tack that down in there.
just like pumping your brakes going down the mountain. If I, if I spot the welder off and on and off and on, it just controls the heat a little bit better, that's all. That's what I'm thinking. my running board. Hate that when it bubbles up. As you can see, there was rot on the end of that. I just wanted to, I didn't want to cut it back any further because I wouldn't have any length. So I just kind of fill the rod in with the, the coat hanger, just try to fill it in. And I have. first. Get that down. Ah. Just hit with the MIG welder for a second again, see if I can clean it up a little bit. Make it look a little better. It's fine. with my hand so I know I, I got it cool enough I'm not gonna hurt anything and not warping anything. Ah, move that up. Move this down. Well pieces down here. I'm 
warp anything, I don't think, on that, but I, I want to keep the heat down. Two braces ripped off, welded on, and back in place. And the running board. Alrighty. I'd seen she it's kind of splattery there, but I just seen she it. It's hard, pretty hard to get a grinder in there. And the only way you'd see that is if you were upside down in the ditch. And if you were going for show quality, will you take some time with a die grinder and die grind it and then seam seal it? Alrighty. Spot well there, got a good penetration there. She's nice and blue there, good penetration there. Everything's looking good. Looking good. Everything's looking good. Alrighty. Off to the other side. Time to put the running board on. Now. I'm thinking that that piece might want to be banged down a little bit. What's that of your waist, sweetheart? I want it all. I want it all out of the way. How's that? Is that better? Thumbs up, boys. You got. I got a thumbs up. Now, I know you watched watched me do this yesterday, but I've got to do it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the running board on and then I can make this piece. I'm going to take the fender off. And the reason the fender's got to come off is because I want it to come off. Fenders are not finished yet. So basically I just got to go down the line and finish everything basically. So when I'm doing the running board, running boards I'd say finished to the fact that I'm putting it on. Um, now would be send it to the body shop, fill it, sand it, prime it, paint it. 40, 80 prime. Yeah. So when you're doing something like this, you know, don't, what can I say? You do it any way you want to, but I try not to overdo it or overthink it. What I mean by that is, I only use the stuff that I feel like is necessary to get me where I'm going. You know, I'm not going to go out and buy products that I don't think I need. Seems, seems a bit much, but whatever. Running board looks fantastic. Running board looks fantastic. Got to get it go up in the air a little bit. Just want to stand back and look at the handiwork, that's all. Get down, get down, Chad, get down. Get down, buddy, get down. Alrighty, then finishing. I know one thing I gotta do right now before I even do that. I gotta get the drill out and drill them holes. You, baby, you got me a light. Thank you very much. You're the best. I'd never mess with any of the rest. Did you take my drill out there? No. Drill's right there. Get the drill. I put them braces on that running board and the holes were a little bit smaller than what I have. And what I've done is I've made all the holes a just a little bit bigger for adjustment. And that means that I have room to play a little bit when I'm doing this adjustment. Um, nowadays, um, they don't have any adjustment and um, probably because for the car can be built faster. If you've ever tried to put a car together with, um, with, with shims and adjustment, it takes a while. If you put a car together with, you put the bolt in, you bolt the fender on, it's over, it's done. Um, it doesn't take as long. Must have left a glove on the other side, maybe. I did. So adjustment, things with adjustment, takes longer to put it together. Things with no adjustment is a lot quicker. 
Sometimes I like to do that. I've done that with some of the cars that I own, me and Jolene own. Um, I've walled the fenders on, walled things in place. No adjustment. It's over. You, you fill it, you paint it, it's over. And it looks good. And, and it's fine. Just gonna drill these. It would be a shame for me to try to put them on and not have a big enough hole to put it on. So that's why I did that. That's why that was done. Let's see if I can get this on quickly. Put some bolts in it. Be nice, they're all the same size, but they're not. all the way we will tighten it up looks good I should have found my rats. I should hook up my air in the half inch, tighten things up. Just make it a little quicker. How nice that fits, eh? Oh, I love it. All right, I'm going to get the air ratchet. You bring the air over. I don't know if I got a half inch on the air or not. Say it's a half inch. I'm a winner, I mean wiener. Alrighty. Bring this over to the other side. I just want to tighten it up a little bit. Nice fitment, eh? Half inch wrench. Did I put that back or did I leave it over here? I probably picked it up. God, that guy keeps picking up his tools. Inch. <laughs> where'd I put them? I don't know where I put them, right there. I just want to tighten that up because I'm going to be putting a, making a piece. Good. All right, oh, the same distance all the way along there. Man, that looks smoking. Let's put one in the back here. May have to go up a little bit. Uh, this one in the back. All in line up. Good. Oh, we treadies. Wow. Awesome. And they're supposed to. Get a half inch. If I want that one in there or not, it probably could work. Wow. Why am I Oh, that brace is holding it down. It's really hard up against the brace. If you know what I'm trying to say, the brace that I had goes underneath the frame and it's kind of hold me hold me holding me down so this brace right here is hard, hard up against the frame I can't pick the 
Come down a little bit so I can pry up on that running board a little. See now. There we go. Let's turn it up there. I just want to take a look at the, the gap. Gap looks good. I think it could come up in front a little bit more. Just wondering if the whole fender and everything can come up. It can. Hmm. I really just, I really, what, I, what has to happen, or what I want to happen is, is I, want, I gotta have the right thing going on here to make this piece. I got this little square piece to make. If I get it down too low, well then the piece is gonna be too big when I bolt it up right. If I get it up too high, well then it's not gonna look right when I get it too high. So basically, I want to get the running board on there exactly where it needs to go. I'm going to, Take the jack. Make sure I'm up where I want to be. See how that's coming up. That fender can come up too. I like it like that better. So we need to get this up a little bit higher. I had a bigger bolt for that back piece. I need to get this brace down. Brace is being a pain in my ass right this second. Come down. There we go. I did it that time. I got her. Bigger. This one. I want a nut for that. Hmm. Gonna get one. Gonna get one. That has to come out. Come on out now. Don't be like that. Come out and play. <laughs> Damn it. bigger bolt in there fits tighter give us a truer read maybe hey here we go true read that's what I'm going for right there I like it all right let's make a piece for this right here if I got time for that red an hour all right man Jolene's saying we're at an hour. I don't want to keep anywhere from their supper, eh, Roger? So basically what's going to go on here now is I've got that piece or that running board there on in place. Now I can make uh, now I can make this piece. And I know it's what I want. I know what it's want because, no, that's not, a, not the read I want. Basically, that's what I want. Because I like the line underneath the rocker the best there. So well, now I can make this piece that goes in here. And it go that? We'll do it tomorrow. Uh, we're going to make a piece from here down, there down, so the fender can bolt on that, that piece. We'll make it tomorrow. So what I'll do is, is I'll go 
to the other side or go to the other running board. I'll grind that off and get that ready for the other side. Uh, and I can take cut out the braces on that one and put on that one. I'll do that today. Then when we come back tomorrow, we'll end up putting this piece on and putting the fender on. Or trying to anyways. I, I know I might get ahead of myself a little bit, but that's what I'd like to get done. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. You do not need everything everybody says you need. All you need is the will and the want and the basics. The basics still work. The basics still work. And I'm trying to prove that every day for the people that want to play, um, that do not want to spend a bunch of money, because that's, that's what I'm into. I like to play. I like to build cars, but I don't want to spend a bunch of money. And you can do it just as well as I do it. Like, share, comment, have fun, subscribe. Come back tomorrow and we'll be here. See you later, everybody. Have a good one.